Hey, welcome back to another episode of PC Whiskey Reviews. My name is Pete, and this is Craig. Uh, look, I'm going to make you another cocktail. This is a recipe episode. Uh, one of our good friends, Steve, uh, he doesn't like almost any whiskey, but he'll do uh, stuff made out of brown sugar bourbon. So uh, I've picked up a recipe that I put together uh, that muddles up orange, brown sugar bourbon, and to make it more palatable to Pete and I, we're going to add some real bourbon to this to kind of cut, oh. <laughs> cut down the sugar. And then I'm going to have Pete try it to see what he thinks. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried this, though I've made this drink for Pete, no, excuse me, for Steve many times with just straight brown sugar bourbon. Um, this, by the way, is really tasty around the holidays because it has lots of those kind of holiday flavors when you throw in that brown sugar bourbon with a, with a sweet brown sugary taste and so on. Uh, but here we go. It's a pretty simple recipe, not too complicated, other than the muddling. So what we're going to do is take a couple... Muddling? Yeah, we're going to muddle. That's a muddling mess. We're going to take a couple wedges of orange, throw them in the bottom. Oh. Now to muddle properly, you need to have some ice in there. It'll help break up your, your orange and your rind because you want all of that in there. And then, being I don't have a muddler, but we're camping. Where are we camping at, Pete? Oh, we are camping at Ocean City park in Ocean is it a Shores. state park or is it just a park okay it's ocean city state park and, and we're right ocean near ocean shores. shores yeah yep okay near ocean shores so uh i'm going to take this end of the spoon and you get your hand over it because it's going to make a mess i'm going to back up and you start muddling down to that orange you want to break up that peel I'll this is going to be loud on the camera we want to break all this stuff up muddle it down to the bottom glass and don't be shy about it get that all broken up Something like. I don't think you hit that top orange. Something like this. Really get that muddled up. Don't be shy. Now to this. That's looking way better. To this, I'm going to add two ounces of brown sugar bourbon. Because I am now, a professional amateur mixologist. Yes. If you are a sweet, uh, if you lean toward the sweet side on your drinks. Just use brown sugar bourbon. Uh, but we're gonna cut this down a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna go with a solid two ounces of brown sugar wow. bourbon. Wow. Now, is that the brown sugar bourbon high octane or low octane? This is the, the regular stuff, okay. the low octane. Thought I would check. Um, this goes for, I don't know, about 26 or something. I don't know, I have money. I always come to your place to drink it. Yeah, there you go. Um, now, we're gonna add, we reviewed this bourbon. This is absolutely adequate bourbon uh, you could drink it all by itself but i like to cut down the sweetness with actual bourbon so we're gonna open this up and i'm gonna add and hey, what are we opening uh, this is russell's reserve uh, it's a kentucky bourbon uh, we reviewed it in episode one i believe so uh, check back maybe, on episode yeah. one uh you'll see what we thought of this bourbon i would drink this every day frankly it's pretty a good previous stuff. episode and it is a 10-year bourbon but good good color, affordable. good taste, and we're going to throw that in, just like so. Now, this doesn't have to be shaken. We're going to grab Pete's Glenlivet spoon, and we're going to just give that a little stir. Get that kind of combined up. We're going to grab our rocks glass. You, what you want to do is add about two-thirds ice. Something... Okay, hold on. We don't want to use these glasses because we're both going to try this together. Let me dump this back in the bowl. <laughs> we want to fill these up about two thirds. Because we're making a cocktail for two here today. So. Cocktail for two. Um, we're going to put this in the, his little snifter glasses like so. Yeah, but they're crystal snifter glasses. Oh, they're beautiful. They come uh, from I, Germany, which is you know, dear to my heart. Are they in, from Germany? Yeah, absolutely. So we want to give this a good stir. That muddling. Now, oh, I have totally forgotten to add bitters. We want a couple of good solid dashes of bitters. Are you using just plain bitters? Or I'm bitters, using the orange. 
That's okay. Angostura. That's just plain Ag Angostura bitters. It's not the orange Angostura, but it's just plain. Well, bitters. they have orange in them, even on the plain one. Okay. I don't want to argue anymore. I don't want to argue either, but I just want to make sure that we're clean. So a couple dashes Whoa, like so. Nice no, no, no. Dashes. Oh, oh, oh. Made a mess. Well, get that cleaned yeah, up. Clean that bar. Keep that bar clean. I have a bar keep. All right. Let's get this all combined up. Good. Now this is the modified Steve... Uh, Steve's favorite modified. Steve's favorite modified. So that we'll actually like it. Bourbon. Well, yeah, because he wouldn't like bourbon. So it's the modified. It's the modified Steve. I, I spilled a little bit over there, Pete. I want you to clean that up. Tell, please. This is on camera. Tell, we have to look tell. here. Yes. Yes. It has now I only made, <laughs> unfortunately, one wedge, which will work out. So you can decorate it with a wedge, or you can decorate it with a cherry and some orange. Tossed in the glass, makes a nice effect. There it is, folks. That is a brown sugar bourbon. I don't know if you'd call this an old-fashioned or not. It's not very old-fashioned. It has some hints toward old-fashioned. But uh, let's give that a shot. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think of that? Wow, cinnamon really pops out of there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a brown sugar cinnamon kind of hit. Yeah. Uh, That's enjoyable. Yeah, pretty tasty. Yeah. Not overly sweet. Um, they're pretty sweet when you do just brown sugar bourbon. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do any more than one of these, but uh, <laughs> just because I prefer my bourbon and not so much sweetness to it, but that is actually quite tasty. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, folks, when you're sitting around the campfire on a, on a warm night, not a cold night. There you go. There you, ha there you have it. Have yourself a uh, brown sugar bourbon created by Craig, the mixologist. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, uh, if you guys like this content, remember to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications about new content coming out. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up, Pete. And if you don't enjoy that, hit the thumbs down twice because we would appreciate that. All right, folks, here's to the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, welcome. No, too oh. soon, too soon. I'm just ready to You're go. You're rushing the show. I am ready to go, buddy. All right, here we go. All right, welcome back to another episode of PC Whiskey Reviews. My name is Pete, and this is my friend and co-drinker. <laughs> we are amateurs. You're just f***ing winging this shit. You're just winging it. Hold, let me stop this. Well,